welcome to our Vision of Reconciliation. We are a classroom of graded students from Mother Teresa Middle School. We have been learning about reconciliation in our classroom and have learned how even though we have never spent time personally in a residential school, we are still all impacted indirectly from our family members and people who we have communicated with. What you see here we have spent a significant amount of time building. We have built this all of ourselves and have created close bonds together while doing so. While doing this project, we have expanded our knowledge of reconciliation and of each other. The bridges connecting the four communities represent unity and peace, connecting us one to another. If you look from above, you see a variety of different houses. The reason we have made the village of houses that have different styles is to represent diversity. Now, I will take you through what me and some of my group members have built in our closet. Firstly, we have a church. It represents the coming together of our neighborhood. It's a place for everyone of all backgrounds. We also have a school. It's a place for everyone to have a good education without facing the consequences that would be at any residential school. Another thing I would like to show is a broken down house space. They were perfectly fine houses but were ruined. It represents how the First Nations people were like whole together right before they were in the residential school and the after effect of the brokenness in the lives and families of the survivors. The last thing I would like to point out is a house that I have built. is supposed to be a distraction to what's underneath the house. It's what people want to forget, but we don't need to forget. What we need to do is heal. The first building you see in our neighborhood is a language school. When the First Nations were taken to residential school, they weren't allowed to speak their own languages. So in our neighborhood, we have a language school to bring those languages back. The roof of the language school has the four circles of the medicine wheel to represent First Nations culture. And beside the language school, we have a hospital. This hospital in our quadrant is to represent healing with each other and recovering relationships. The twisted statue in the middle is representation of how the treaties were twisted. The government did not live up to their, their promises. The flooring of the hospital is also the four colors of the medicine circle. In our neighborhood, we've made a restaurant. Our restaurant features foods from all cultures. Food's a great way to draw community and get together, and our restaurant will do just that. We've also made a sanctuary to symbolize conversation and people getting together. We are most part of the medicine wheel tower, it shows how much is culture matters and is fully respected. We represent our own fragile society to each culture. Our next station will be the Peace Park, which is located in North Park. The Peace Park represents peace. It's a place where people can relax, appreciate nature, and give thanks to motherhood. Our last destination is going to be the library. The library represents knowledge and wisdom. It's a place where people can meet with their friends, to study, and get books. 
The library is for everybody because we are all one people and everyone should have the opportunity to work.